We just published a paper very recently doing it, uh, using a novel experimental design showing that brain tumor cells, uh, both mouse and human, oxygen consumption is not an accurate marker for ATP production through oxidative phosphorylation. So, so people, were making, using, people were making an assumption that there would be a really tight correspondence between the oxygen consumption of a cell and how much it was using oxidative phosphorylation, which sounds like a very natural assumption because oxidative phosphorylation depends on oxygen. But what you're saying is that assumption is actually not that good. And for a cancer cell, it's very accurate for a normal cell, but mm. not accurate for a cancer cell. And Warburg was basing his, uh, I, I, actually it was Hans Krebs who developed the, the technique for assuming that, or for showing, clearly showing that oxygen consumption was linked to ATP production. Uh, uh, and he did, he, he did those experiments. And Warburg simply used, assumed also, like everybody else does, that this is true, that oxygen hmm. consumption is a surrogate marker for ATP production. And in normal cells, it is. Uh, but in cancer cells, it's not. They're uncoupled. Uh, they, they use oxygen to produce reactive oxygen species uh, with much, much less ATP coming from the oxygen consumed uh, than what would be happening in a normal cell. Okay. So